Hey Feasters, what's up? It's me Blanche with Feast in the Middle East and can you believe it's almost Thanksgiving? I mean, what the, the, the time is just flying by. And I know some of you are already planning your menus and are preparing everything that you've got for this big day. And I've got a surprise. I've got this recipe that I've been experimenting with for a long, long time and I can't wait to share it with you. It is maple glazed sweet potatoes with a tahini sauce to give it that Middle Eastern twist. Now Thanksgiving is a night of indulgence, I know. So 3,500 calories is an average pound, but apparently most Americans eat 4,500 calories for Thanksgiving dinner alone, over 200 grams of fat. That's equivalent to about three sticks of butter. So I developed a recipe where you could enjoy the flavor, but not necessarily really put a dent in your waistline from sweet potatoes. So why don't we get started? I have about two pounds of sweet potatoes. You could pick any kind of sweet potatoes or yams that you wish. I like the tiny ones because they seem to have a little bit more flavor. And we're gonna just do the most simple roasting you can imagine. So I'm gonna just chop these up uh, sort of in matchstick or french fry sizes. You can cut them in circles, but I'll show you an example of how I like to cut these. So here we go. So we've got this. We're gonna cut it in half and then cut each one like this in half. And I like them long like this, but just in half like that, make it really, really simple. So here's the deal with sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving. I know most of you like to drown your sweet potatoes with marshmallows, okay? I, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me here, I got a knife in my hand. <laughs> but I think that marshmallows have no place on sweet potatoes because they're full of high fructose corn syrup and that just gets metabolized in the liver, which causes more like the fat rolls here, you know? Like we don't want more fat rolls hanging out here. So forget the marshmallows when you can have uh, a sweetener that goes a long way and that is maple syrup. So maple syrup has a lot of flavor for a very little amount and it gives a beautiful glaze in the oven. All right, so once you've got your sweet potatoes all chopped up, you're gonna just put them in a bowl like this. And to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of maple syrup, just like this. You can use honey, but I just like the, the flavor of maple syrup with sweet potatoes. I think it goes really well. And one to two tablespoons of olive oil, right there. Yes, I do use olive oil for roasting. It's just the, the Arab in me. Okay, we use olive oil for everything. And you wanna season it very, very simply, just with like a half a teaspoon of salt to taste and just a little bit of pepper, just like a little dash of pepper. And then continue to stir it up like this. See, they're already looking like they have a beautiful glaze. Have your oven set to 425 degrees. And I'm just gonna put them right here on this platter. Look how beautiful that is, that beautiful, brilliant orange color. You see that? And make sure that your platter is greased with a little bit of oil because you don't want them to stick. So I'm gonna put these in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Look at how beautiful these sweet potatoes look and they've got this nice glaze. And to be honest, they taste just like candy the way it is. But I wanna add another flavor dimension. It's my special tahini sauce. This is my invention. I'm so excited to share it with you. So we've got the juice of one lemon right here. Then we have uh, two tablespoons of honey, any kind of honey you want. And we have two tablespoons of tahini. And then we've got just a half a teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of mint. This particular mint is really special to me because it's from my friend uh, Cosette. Uh, it's from Lebanon. And it just has this really strong, beautiful aroma that I just don't find in mint here in the US. But not to fear, even if you've got US mint, it's all good. Just use like the regular ground up mint that's dry. We just want a little hint of it. So that's all we need for our seasonings and a little bit of salt too, just to make sure we round out the flavor. And it's super versatile. So you don't have to use it just for this recipe. Whatever leftover you have, you can put over salad as a dressing. You can use it with cabbage as a coleslaw. You could even use it as a spread for any kind of sandwich that you like. So let's get started. It's so easy to make. I'm using a miniature food processor, but if you don't have one, feel free to use a whisk. I'm starting with the two tablespoons of tahini paste right here. We got that out of the way. And then my juice of one lemon, one medium-sized lemon, lemon juice right here. 
and two tablespoons of honey. Now make sure your honey is pure honey. Can you believe in supermarkets they're trying to sneak corn syrup and some of the honey? So check the ingredients. Local honey is the best. It's gonna have the most nutritional benefits if you, you get local honey from your farmer's market or something like that. It makes a huge difference in the flavor of it as well. And as far as seasoning, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. Uh, I have, you know, the, the onion powder and the mint. So here's the onion powder and the mint right here. And finally, the salt and pepper. Now this is just to taste. First put a little bit and then you can experiment to see if you want more. And just a little bit of salt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it all up to see what the consistency is gonna be. Let's. All right, let's take a look at the consistency. Right now, it's right about perfect. Uh, you could, if you have really thick, thick tahini paste that's making it too thick to work with, you could always add a tablespoon or two of water. Keep working, add a little bit at a time till you get the consistency that you want. And a lot of times this dressing the next day will kind of solidify. Add a little bit of water to it and whisk it until you get the consistency that you want as well. So water works wonders with this if it's way, way too thick. But right now it's perfect, it's just right. So now I'm going to assemble the sweet potatoes. Okay, so watch how easy it is to plate this. This is great for any potluck or if you're responsible for bringing the entree, make sure you test the sauce, make sure that it's not too salty or you didn't add too much salt. If you did, no biggie, just add more tahini sauce. That's all, add more tahini paste, it'll fix it. And this is where you can let your artistic side come out, like a Jackson Pollock painting, you know? Just take it and just kind of splatter. There we go, splatter, splatter. hi -ya. La 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 la, and la 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 la. And then, for the final little touch, I've got about a quarter cup of ground up pistachios. You don't have to use pistachios. You can use pecans, you can even use sesame seeds. You can use any kind of nut you want. You could use almonds. But I thought, you know, just to keep it Middle Eastern, we'll go with the pistachios, add some color contrast with the orange sweet potatoes. So just sprinkle it like that. And you could double or triple the recipe depending on how many people you have to make this for. I just made this a nice cozy uh, serving size for the camera, for you all to see. See what I mean? Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. You don't need marshmallows. Marshmallows belong on s'mores. They don't belong in your sweet potatoes. That way when you eat this, you can be freed up to eat your gravy and your stuffing and your, your pumpkin pie and your pecan pie. You don't need to, you know, kill it with the sweet potatoes too. That's Mmm. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is so, 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 so good. It's sweet. It's salty. It's crunchy. It's nutty. It tastes like dessert. To be honest, my ideal Thanksgiving dinner would be this with a side of turkey, and that's it. I don't need anything else. And then I'll be able to fit into my jeans the next day, feel good about myself. Please try this recipe. Share your comments below. And make sure you follow me on social media. So like Instagram, at Blanche Media and Twitter at Blanche Media. I put day-to-day -day recipes, I put gossip of the day, whatever it is um, that's inspiring me that day, I share it with all of you, so I'd love if you join me on that. And go to Blanche's Feast in the Middle East uh, for my Facebook musings, and of course, feastinthemiddleeast.com. Until next time, sahtan, enjoy your sweet potatoes, and leave those marshmallows, kick them to the curb, all right? They don't belong in your food. Not with your sweet potatoes, Louise. Mmm, 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 mmm.